Okay. So. We are recording. We are going to. Okay, so. I'm going to record basic recross files right now. Um, since it's a common thing for newcomers to ask about. Anyone can join, there's only one of us. Okay, so let's just mull until we have a thing that we can cast recross with. We'll go as far as we possibly can. Okay, let's try again. Uh, this will be, we're on two cards. Okay, this is fine actually. Okay, we'll just draw it until we need to. Okay, perfect. We get to draw a card even on the first turn. Amazing. Wow, this looks terrible, doesn't it? All close up. It's fine. This won't be edited, okay? This is going to be super fucking raw. So you better like it that way. All right. This is so terrible looking. Okay, so we're going to recross. Um, so first, let's do Belcher Piles, okay? So I guess for this, the fact that we're on three lands, we should do a three-land Belcher Pile. So probably the most common one that you're going to do is, because there's a lot of Counterspell decks, so you're probably going to want to do a Pact Pile. So it's going to be Reforge, Shatter Skull, Belcher, Desperate Ritual, Desperate Ritual, Pyretic Ritual, Pyretic Ritual, Pact of Negation. And this is kind of nice, what's shown up here, we have a Manamorphos in our hand, which means uh, we can draw an extra card in the Reforge Pile because we upkeep it, and then we Reforge with the trigger. Uh, with the Manamorphos, then we actually have our draw for turns, so we get an extra card. So usually we want that to be like an extra pact, so we'll do that right here. So this is a pretty common cookie cutter build. So we're going to pass, upkeep, we're going to Manamorphos, go red, red, you go red, black if you want to scare your opponent. Um, we have a draw for turns, see, so now we have eight cards. So what we're going to do now is Pyretic Ritual, Pyretic Ritual to four, Desperate Ritual to six. I mean, splicing Death Rituals, Rituals to six, Death Ritual to seven, and kill them. Kill, I guess we shoot ourselves, hey, for, for the effect. Um, any order. Okay, great. I win. Let's try that again. All right. So, uh, let's just find a hand that casts recross. Uh, does this cast it quickly? Uh, let's find one that casts it quicker. Let's do that again, again. Okay, we'll try for this. So I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to purposefully stay on two lands because we're going to demonstrate the two land pile. Um, Noxious Survival, okay, we're going to have to start again. Because uh, it includes Noxious Survival. I hope you guys like how unedited this is going to be because I'm not editing this. It's just going to be nice and raw. That's Mulligan, that's Mulligan. Uh... I just want to cast recross on turn two, please, or something like that. Okay, same thing. We're just gonna wait until we draw like mana morphos, so we can stay on two lands for the effect of showing what's going. Okay, perfect. Striker rich. So two land pile. It means you have two lands when you cast it, right? Not to be confused. So your ritual, you striker rich, or you mana morphos, you recross. So you got two lands. Two lands cast uh, reforge, and you're gonna put one land in the pile so you can go off one land. So the pile is as follows. Reforge, Seagate as your land, Noxious Survival. Offer you can't refuse targeting Noxious Survival for a pseudo Rite of Flame effect. Desperate Ritual to three, Desperate Ritual to four. Could be any ritual, it doesn't matter if it's desperate. Iron Craig to seven, Belcher with three floating. Kill. Okay. Do this, do do do. Draw a Reforge. Okay. Here's what we do. So, hold priority. Control on MTGO, where you could say the words if you're playing in paper. Uh, target any card in your graveyard, pay life with Nox Survival. While it's on the stack, counter it with an offer you can't refuse. You get two treasures. Use them to cast Desperate Ritual or any rituals, Iron Craig, Belcher. And they're dead, okay? So, like, those are the those are like the main cookie cutter ones. Uh, when you when you get more accustomed to the deck, you do things like Valkyrie Awakening piles, or you put special little piles depending on what you think you might need. Um, so now let's do Pyromancer Ascension piles. Uh, we're going to basically do the same thing: two land and three land Ascension piles. Uh, this looks like should be close. We can just draw the cards, right? We can just draw the cards. 
just draw the cards. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. We're gonna do it off two lands for the effect. Playing it on two lands. Just gonna play this, go. I'm not gonna play this land. Okay, so let's cast it. So Ascension Line on two lands is the same thing as the two land Belcher pile, except you're replacing Iron Creek Feet and Belcher with Ascension and Metamorphose, and then you have the uh, the PA loop behind it. So put Turn Timber on top, Reforge, Seagate for land, Offer a Noxious Survival to get you to two mana. Uh, probably you want Pyretics because you want uh, Desperate Rituals to, to, to go with the loop to splice. Two Pyretic Rituals to get to four mana. Oh fuck, I don't have Ascension main deck. Oh, this is so embarrassing. That's okay, it's uncut, raw and uncut. Perfect. Okay, I don't have Ascension in the main deck, of course. Yeah, I should have thought of that, but this is why we're doing it now. Okay. Try again. No one say a fucking word. Mulligan, mulligan. Sure. We get to draw cards, amazing. Okay, so I'm just gonna march here just because I can, and I want to just find a ritual to cast this on two lands. Look, there it is. Uh, wait, oh, I just exiled the man. Wow, I'm like the worst fucking player. No, I can't cast it. This is really good, actually. Uh, this is fine. Everything that's happening right now is fine. Oh, this is like gonna be really low quality video, but it's great. Go. <laughs> Go. Okay, perfect. Uh, no, no, it's still fine, actually. We can just do a three land PA pile first. Or else I can also just fucking... Yeah, we'll do three land PA pile. Can I just draw a Manamorphos, please, man? Or Striker itch or anything that would be great right now. Thank you. Discard to hand size. Perfect. Perfect, okay. So, we started with three lands. Now we'll start with three lands again for PA. So, PA, three lands. Reforge. You probably want Shatter Skull. You definitely want PA. Um, so you can put like an extra ritual. You can put like three rituals, which helps against cast. Ah, this is perfect actually. This is a good demonstration. Since we have two mana morphers in the bin, or what was one exiled? One is exiled. Perfect. So I think it should be able to be just fine with three Pyrotic rituals. So we have land, PA, Pyrotic to three, Pyrotic to four. Oh, I don't have a third one. Okay, fine. Uh, desperate to whatever, get another stack. That's land, PA, two, three, four, five. Pact is six, Manamorphos is seven. So this pack doesn't have to be here. It's nice to have it there in most matchups. Sometimes, like if you're playing against like coffers, they don't really have anything that can remove the PA, so you can just add an extra ritual for graveyard hate protection. Um, we'll just do like spike field at the end. And so I know I'm clicking fast, but it'll be better if you just see the cards when they're drawn, I think. So we reforge, we have one land open, we play our land. Uh, let's see in the bin here, any play with pyretic rituals in the bin. So we're gonna desperate ritual here to three mana. We're gonna pyretic to four. We're gonna ascension to two floating, pyretic to get the first stack since there's one in the bin. Because since we have only access to two Manamorphoses, we're gonna need to get these stacks early, so that means we need an extra ritual to get the stack in. So now we're at two stacks. This is the second Manamorphose and the last Manamorphose. We're gonna draw two cards off of this, and the two cards that we're gonna draw are going to be uh, Death Ritual and Valigate Recovery. So do that. It's good to keep maximum green mana at all times since you only need two uh, red to cast the ritual. So you're gonna ritual here, have a good amount of mana. That'll get recovery. You can return Manamorphose and probably Desperate Ritual. Add probably Green Green. And then probably Red Red since you're going to be splicing rituals here. So you might as well just go for Red because it's going to be there anyways. You're going to use the Red to cast it. So you can see we're making lots of mana. Now don't forget on the second Battle you're going to have to return Battle get Recovery. And this is the nature of the loop. And Manamorphose. And so the next cards that we're going to draw are Spike Field Hazards. This is assuming that, like, opponent has, like, Karn or Pithing Needle, you know. So we have Dritual, then we have Spike Field Hazards. So what we're going to do is we're going to target, obviously, I guess, ourself. Same targets. 
Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna return like Balagad and like Desper Ritual. And you can like triple splice. You can also double splice and it'll go infinite, but you can triple splice here. And just look, we're gonna get a lot of red mana. And so you can imagine, like we have, look, look at this mana, it's huge. So you can imagine how this is gonna go. Like we're gonna Balagad, Balagad and like Spike Field until we're low on red mana or green mana. Then we're gonna Balagad targeting Balagad and Mana Morphos if we want green mana, or Balagad and uh, Death Ritual if we wanna get more red mana, right? So this is infinite. So you're gonna target your opponent with Spike Field Hazards and loop mana and green mana and red mana until they're dead. If they have like Leyline of Sanctity, you can, um, someone at the door. No, that's good. I hate to be interrupted. Um, if they have Leyline of Sanctity, you can make angels with Amiria's Call. Like you'll, you'll Mana Morphos and Strike It Rich. Like where these uh, Spike Fields are, there's gonna be uh, Strike It Rich and Amiria's Call, right? So you're gonna make a bunch of angels. If you don't, if you don't have the ability to make them hasty with uh, Song Mad Treachery, since like maybe you took it out, then um, you can just pass the turn with like 30 angels and a bunch of pack negations and Strike Your Riches to pay for them, right? Okay, so we're gonna concede and we're gonna win from conceding. Okay, so that was the three land PA pile. We have two more PA piles to look at right now. Maybe we can do both, both of them in one, I'm not entirely sure. But okay, these mulligans are maybe like a stupid idea, but I think it's okay. Okay, so we're gonna do okay, perfect. So right now we're gonna do the two land PA pile. Doesn't matter if there's one. Uh, we're gonna ignore this metamorphos. It doesn't matter if there's a metamorphos in the bin. You can just completely ignore it because if you imagine the first metamorphos, uh, if you have four in the stack, is gonna go in the bin anyways, and then you only get the stack off of the second metamorphos. So. Not a huge deal if there's one in the bin. If there's two in the bin, or you have access to two, I think you're going to need another ritual to get another stack before you uh, before you draw two off the last Manamorphos. Okay, so. Turn Timber on top, get your seven mana, win the Clash. Reforge, Seagate for land. Noxious Survival, offer to get to two mana. Pyretic. Pyretic to get to four. Ascension to floating, Manamorphos begins. So this pile you'll probably actually not use super often. I mean it depends because like Karn shuts off the treasures from offer. So you're probably actually not gonna use this too often, but it'll probably come up. It's it's good to have it in your back pocket. Then you can put spike field hazard, maybe you want a belcher there. You know what I mean? Same deal. Okay. Ignore this metamorphos for our sake. Do this, great. Hold priority, noxious, targeting anything you like in the graveyard, counter it. Pyretic ritual to three, pyretic ritual to four, pyromancer for two floating for metamorphos. And you see since the first metamorphos is in the bin, you know, we already get the stack off the first of the second one, so that's fine. This is gonna be the third metamorphos in the pile. Okay, it's laggy. This is the final Manamorphos, so you're going to draw two cards, the two cards being Balagate Recovery and Desper Ritual. You can go red-green, red-green, doesn't really make a huge difference as long as you have a good amount of green. Desper Ritual with the red, get a bunch of mana. Balagate Recovery, Manamorphos, and Desper Ritual. Like, it's basically the same sequence, you're just starting out with different pieces, right? So, it's not too crazy. Um, Red-red, because we're going to splice. And I think you guys get the idea. Um, I think you guys get the idea, right? We're just doing the exact same thing. Now we're going to Balagad, returning Balagad and Metamorphos to keep going. And our next cards, I believe, are Desperate Ritual and like Spike Field Hazard. So same thing. And you can have you can put a Belcher in there if you suspect it'll just be easy, right? There's a Belcher right under this. Um, so I think we can skip this. I think this is pretty self-explanatory after the this, the whole stacking and the and the and the uh, procedure. So the final one, which I think is relatively important, is what to do if you only have access to, okay, here we go, this is fine. If you only have access, I guess if we were in a game, we would do it like this, so might as well do it like that. So here's what we do when we only have access to one Balagad. So you gotta pretend, because it's gonna take me a long time to goldfish and make this happen, you gotta pretend that one of these Balagad recoveries right here 
is on the battlefield, right? We've played one of them as a land. So we can't actually execute the loop with Balagad recur returning Balagad. But we have Noxious Arrival for that because we used to play Balagad in three. We used to play three copies. But now since we have added Noxious Arrival, we can go down and play more untapped lands. So that's nice. So I guess for the sake of this, maybe I should do it on three lands to make it easier. But it works on two lands, so might as well just do it on two lands. Yeah, two lands is more tricky, so it combines more things in one. So same pile, exact same pile. Uh, land, offer, noxious to two, pyretic to three, pyretic to four, ascension, two floating, manamorphose, 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 manamorphose. So again, we're pretending that one of these battle gets on the battlefield, okay? Does ritual. First valley good, then you're done. You don't have any more best, you don't have any more put the other desperate rituals, whatever, then spike field. So this is what we're gonna do. And then we'll explain a bit after. So we're going to use this noxious arrival that's in the pile to make this work. And I can also demonstrate how it'll work. Again, I shouldn't have to explain what I'm doing right now. It's lagging because I'm playing against myself. Perfect. Okay. Shouldn't really have to explain what I've done here. We did that before. Oh, I just added green, green. That's very good. Okay. Okay. Good first metamorphose, no stacks. Second metamorphose, yield for the sake of everyone's health and safety. Third metamorphose gets two stacks. And the final fourth metamorphose draws Desperate Ritual and Balagate Recovery. Only this time, we don't have another Balagad recovery underneath it, right? So we're going to have to uh, not be as luxurious with this Balagad recovery. We're still going to Ritual because we want that mana, otherwise we're going to run out. So the, so the Balagad recovery is going to return. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, so the first file I get is now going to return uh, Manamorphos and Noxious Arrival. So we're going to see how this works. Pay with red. And Noxious Arrival. And then you're going to Noxious Arrival, Balgate Recovery. Pay green. And I guess probably Manamorphos should be fine. Those cards are now on top. You're Manamorphosing into both of them now. Okay. So you go to green, green. Before we go green, green again. You can metamorphose again. Thank you for the background noise. Thank you for making background noise. Do this. And then the same thing. Noxious survival. Metamorphose. Noxious Rival, Balagad, Pig Green. Probably Manamorphos, we need to draw into cards. Manamorphos into both of them. Okay, so here we have Spike Builds. Now, let's do it again. Noxious Rival. Manamorphose. Now you Noxious Survival, Balagad, and probably Desperate Ritual, right? Because you want to start splicing. Did I click the wrong one? I hope not. Balagad, did I click Desperate Ritual? Yeah, okay. Then you start splicing. And this is how it goes. And you just rinse and repeat, kill your opponent however you like. Um, so final thought. So if this, if you run three lands and this Noxious Survival was in the pile, it would replace the second uh, Balagad. So if you want to actually, if we can stack right now. We can just return, recrust our hand and demonstrate what the stack would look like. Okay, let's recross. Oh, it's going to copy, great. Any order. So if we were, st oh, I can't do it. 
Okay, either way. So if we were stacking and we had three lands and we were going with like Ritual, Ritual, PA, Mana Morphos, and we weren't using Noxious Survival to get mana, then the Noxious Survival would take the place of the of the second battle again. I can just demonstrate it. I might as well demonstrate it, why don't I? Before I finish this up. Okay. So let's just demonstrate this one final thing. Okay. So it's Mulligan for Recross. Any day now. We're on three cards. This is fine. Oh, maybe it's not fine, but whatever. can't do this with the card in the deck. Okay, it's okay. That's fine, I can't, that's fine. Something that casts recross, please. Wow, this is sad. Okay, this is fine. Here's what's gonna happen. So this is an example of if we're casting on three lands. So the pile's gonna look like this. Again, we're gonna pretend that one battle get recovery is unavailable to us. Maybe it's Excel, maybe it's on the battlefield, maybe it's whatever. If it's in the yard, it doesn't matter because obviously you could just return it with the other one. So reforge. Shatter skull for land. Uh that's two paradigm ritual, three paradigm ritual, four paradigm ritual. Five ascension, six pack mitigation, seven metamorphose. Simple enough. You have the extra ritual to ensure against losing a metamorphose or graveyard hate, whatever. Because you'll get an extra stack earlier and you'll still draw your cards and they'll probably pop the the relic or whatever they have. So again, pretend one Balagad does this. Desperate ritual, Balagad. Desperate ritual, noxious arrival. It's very important that Balagad is in front. Balagad must, must be first. Desperate ritual, then spike full hazards. Okay, simple enough. Let's wheel. Let's just do this real quick. Three mana, four mana, two floating, one stack. I don't have to do it in this order actually because there's no mana left in the bin, but whatever. I usually like doing it this way anyways. Two stacks with the second mana morph. Draw two off of the third one. Oops, I didn't yield. Fuck. This is the benefit of having another ritual too. You get off. You get off uh, a bit earlier. You draw. You draw two cards off mana morphers, uh, One mana morphers earlier. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna splice. So we should, you do this a bit differently, but it's basically the same procedure. You guys get the idea. So Balagad, double mana morphers. Make sure you return two mana morphers. We're about to show you why. So, first metamorphose. Noxious survival. And probably death ritual. Now, look at your look what's in our hand. Anything anything familiar? We have noxious survival and metamorphose. So we're gonna turn noxious survival, battle get recovery, pay with green. And now you probably want metamorphose because you want to get to those spike fields. So those two cards are now on top of your deck. Your metamorphose will copy, and you will draw both of them. Look, here they are. Isn't that beautiful? You can metamorphose again. Probably find those spike field hazards. Look, there they are. You can start splicing. Or you could, uh, wait, you could, uh, you know, return one. And then look, you're gonna battle again. You're gonna turn Noxious Survival. And you're gonna turn Metamorphose and continue. So right now you're probably gonna Noxious Survival, Battle Get, and Desperate Ritual. You're gonna splice until you have all the mana in the world. You're gonna spike fill your opponent and you're gonna win. Um, I think this covers the basics. Uh, maybe we'll do more of these, but this is like the bare bones intro to Bellatrain Ascension Piles. And hopefully this should answer some people's questions.